Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. The Gonyak Union has expressed dismay on the failure of the state and central governments to remove the Armed Forces Special Power Act 1958 from the districts of Nagaland State, even after witnessing the very recent reckless misuse of the law. Stating that AFSPA is an archaic law, the Gonyak Union questioned as to what ground has AFSPA been extended and on what ground has the districts of Nagaland been declared as disturbed areas. It said AFSPA 1958 should be replaced with sincere peace building and peace keeping initiatives if the ceasefire and peace talks with Naga political groups are genuine. The Gonyak Union further said to revoke AFSPA at the earliest, the state government must make a firm decision and commitment to strengthen the existence of law enforcement agencies in different parts of the state and activate and use the state police force to maintain law and order. AFSPA has no relevance and will have no achievements, it added. The union also decided to abstain from attending today's consultative meeting on Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958, convened by Nagaland State Government at Jumukidima. Commerce and Industry Minister Bayush Koyal has said that the country's goods exports have now crossed 418 billion US dollar mark. Addressing the media yesterday in New Delhi on India's historic export figures for the financial year 2021-22, Koyal said it is an important milestone in the journey towards an Atma Nirpar Parat. He said every sector of this economy, farmer, entrepreneur, MSME and state governments worked together to achieve this lucrative goal. He said India's diversified export portfolio in 2021-22 show India's manufacturing abilities as well as growth in high-tech goods, electronics and agricultural products. The minister said the export of wheat in 2019-20, which was only 2 lakh tons, has increased to 21.55 lakh tons in 2020-21. Goyal said India will continue to export wheat in a big way to meet the needs of countries that are not getting supplies from conflict areas. A new COVID variant has been found in the UK, the World Health Organization said in its latest report. The new mutant, called XE, may be more transmissible than any strain of COVID-19, the health body said. XE is a recombinant, which is a mutation of PA1 and PA2 Omicron strains. Recombinant mutations emerge when a patient is infected by multiple variants of covid the variants mix up their genetic material during replication and form a new mutation, UK experts said in a paper published in British Medical Journal. The World Health Organization said that a new mutation XE appears to be 10% more transmissible than PA2 subvariant of Omicron. Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur launched six new and rare reference materials, RMs, developed by the National Dope Testing Laboratory, NTETL. Speaking at an event, Thakur said that this development will make India self-reliant in anti-doping science. He said the availability of these RMs would help the entire anti-doping community to strengthen their testing capabilities. Thakuru said that this would also help in mutual cooperation among countries for promoting fair play in sports policy the world over. And in hockey, the Indian women's team stunned formidable Germany 2-1 to register its second consecutive win in the pool stages and assured its place in the quarterfinals of the FIH Junior World Cup yesterday. India, who thrashed Wales 5-1 in its opening pool D match yesterday, scored through two penalty corner conversions by Larem Siami in the second minute and Mamdas Khan in the 25th minute to emerge winners. Germany's lone goal was scored by Jules Bluel in the 57th minute. The Indians will finish off their pool engagements against Malaysia on April 5 before the quarter-final round, which starts on April 8. That's all we have in this morning bulletin. Have a good day. 